Well, it's the end of Flaming June. It's the 30th of June, 2012. It's 27 in the morning. As you can see, cloudy mistiness over Bedwas Mountain and the cold tip. Hmm. Anyway, I need an emergency beano. So I need to cross the road before I get run over by this car. Uh, and he goes and parks. So, Edward's General Store, purveyor, mm. bread and stuff, um, fine papers and bread and stuff. I'm off to the Willows, there's a new, uh, not Costa Coffee, Cafe Nero in Cardiff, which I want to try. I want to get another pub on the Ale Trail, maybe the yard. Only 12 hours too late. So, oh yes, um, I'm going jelly bean. On pre order. I don't that mad. But then you always knew that. So, next stop, somewhere south. Hmm, the weather's looking. Somewhat variable in Cathilly. Looking northbound. Actually, it's not northbound, but it'll do for now. That's okay. Uh, hmm. I like to be indoors. It's in the jacket, in the beer, in the coffee, put in my pocket, maybe. This is Cardiff, Cardiff Beach Street. Looking a bit better. Forage and train arriving. Wi-Fi. You know what that means? Yeah, use a VPN. Hmm. Sun's come out. Dropped off in the subway for a chicken tikka deal. Which wasn't bad. Three quid, six inch sub. A small drink, which is not bad. <sighs> I'm feeling better. Anyway, nine o'clock the open the bar so cranberry juice to start yeah and so it starts again this is number one and the story's just begun no oh, sorry this is from north of here beacons gold by the brecon brewing company for two percent alcohol by volume according into the pump clip a golden ale the soft bitterness, whatever that means. Sorry, my taste buds. Sorry, <laughs> and I've only had cranberry juice so far. Mm. Oh, I like that. There's a touch. It is softly bitter, surprisingly, uh, a hint of citrus in there as well. Um, that would be a B++, but you can't do that on a tap, so it's going to get four stars. I might have another one of those, actually. Hi, Jimmy. It looks black because it is black. This is Elwood's Black Dog, which I think I've had in the Markham Uphill. 3.6% alcohol by volume, and if I remember correctly, I thought. 
Some mayo with a sort of spread, burnt chocolatey taste. Actually, I'm going to give it an A minus. I think that deserves an A minus. Actually, it doesn't have to have a lot of alcohol to be a great beer. That's a great beer. Oh, just had an email about the bash. It's on. And number three. Western's 2011 vintage cider. 0.2% alcohol by volume. I wish I'd known when I purchased it. Oop. I need to focus and exposure lock on here. Anyway, served over rice, a la Magnus. So. Tons of apples, slightly bitter, apple aftertaste. I wouldn't say a classic, either. but that's rather good. It's going to finish me for the day, though. Anyway, just listen to the Worlds Apart podcast and Carl Mann and Missy M. Wack. They have no wombles in the States. This can't be right. What are these bang things on their hair? No fringes. I'm shaking my head. <laughs> um, the camera's going all over the place. I'm sure Google will offer to correct it. Okay, first the advertisement. Um, no kickback, just a happy, satisfied user. If you've got a Mac, um, or you've got an iOS device, iPad, iPod, Touch, or an iPhone. Screencasts Online by Don McAllister, UK developer. Excellent tutorials. Um, you can get a month for four US dollars, which is like excellent. Really, really helpful, really good. Anyway, here's my ale. Tzitzi. Polish. That's off to the Poles, because they do all the work that we want. There's a political... I can't say it. There's a political statement there somewhere. Anyway, uh, let's turn it round. Oh my god. 5.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's a lager. Let's have a quick. It's not bad. It's a B plus. I need to blog this. Bloggy might be the tool for me. Hmm. Anyway, oh, was part. Was part podcast. Wonderful.